Hello everyone, this is Mark Franzak, and we're going to be taking you through a quick peek into a short little POC that was done, um, highlighting the integration uh, capabilities of uh, Sitecore, using Sitecore personalization rules to uh, box ever full stack um, experimentation or uh, experiences. So again, we wanted to use the, the um, CDP experimentation tools um, to really determine the most and best well-suited content to be rendered in Sitecore. So we wanted to use the CD platform to have that data-driven determination of content, right? Bringing in a data from any channel uh, to test um, and essentially pick the, uh, the appropriate content uh, for that next best one-on-one uh, -on -one engagement. So during the presentation, we're going to be talking about Sitecore web marketers, right? Those are the ones that will be using things like the experience editor, Sitecore personalization rules um, to uh, essentially add a rule to a component that will reach out to um, a box of experimentation uh, via web API call. We're going to be talking about Sitecore developers that created that personalization rule. And, and uh, again, this is all just standard things. And then uh, we're going to be talking about the um, marketer that would be managing the decisioning behind that box ever full stack uh, experiment. So, you know, separation of resources and responsibilities, but all communicating together to um, to, to essentially have that uh, you know, end result of the two systems uh, working in conjunction together. So it really began with, again, uh, just a short little POC. So you have a, a marketer who would be working inside of uh, full stack experimentation, uh, creating tests. We can see here that it was just going to be uh, very simple. And the test name itself is the only thing the marketer would need. Um, in this case, we we're just doing a 50-50 split on the, uh, you know, based on the traffic. But you know, obviously in here, you can begin to imagine um, adding in um, you know, more complex type decisioning with uh, audiences and filtering and, and decision engines behind that. We then also um, have that marketer determine what is the um, what is the return of that API call response going to look like. Um, so in this case, we just we just named it a, um, a variable component version, and it was going to be uh, resulting in either a one or a two, uh, depending on that 50-50 split. But again, this is something that you know the Sitecore marketers and uh, web marketers would just sort of coordinate in their discussions. So you know, again, in our case, it was just that 50-50 split um, that was going to return uh, a, a component version one or version two. You then have the Sitecore part of things begin to take shape and form, right? Essentially just um, writing uh, the uh, class that will uh, be exposed as a personalization rule for a marketer. So there's the, the code part of it that you see here. Um, you know, essentially just reaching out to, uh, to, to box ever, um, issuing a, uh, an API call. And in this case, all we were doing was passing through the, the test ID and then what the marketer was going to compare as the value of the result. Um, so it was just doing the, uh, you know, the value was comparing to the, the version that was returned by box ever, um, and, you know, site core standard things returning a, um, a true or false for that determination. You then have, again, that Sitecore uh, developer go and add the rule inside of Sitecore as they would normally do, right? So this is the human readable for that marketer. Um, and then the script associ associated with that from the, um, you know, the, the class that was created and deployed into that Sitecore instance. So nothing out of the norm here and nothing um, that wasn't, you know, very simply achieved. Now the web marketer part of things, well, this is where they kick into action, right? Uh, now able to, to utilize that rule uh, in context, um, adding that personalization in depending on what version of content will be displayed uh, for a return of, of either one or two in this case. Um, and we can sort of see that here passing through the name of the test and the result set of that. So, you know, essentially you can think of having numerous tests 
that are fashioned in a very similar way to return uh, you know, numerics or alphanumerics or whatever it happens to be. Um, so there's no need for multiple personalization rules necessarily, um, but you know, perhaps one or two uh, personalization rules that would you know take advantage of experimentation and and experiences on on the um, side of the the CDP and box ever. So pretty straightforward, right? So they're just adding that in it's the exact same thing that a web marketer would always do. And then that personalization, right, which is the content that will be displayed. Um, in that case, it was the component version one. That was the content for component version two. And, you know, we can sort of see that execution uh, in real time in the box ever side of things. So these are all, you know, real time interactions of the platforms um, and really taking now full advantage of the robust capabilities of, of the new CDP platform and, and the abilities for it to have um, you know, much more robust and complex um, you know, experimentations and experiences being created um, with you know, the influence of, of um, AI and machine learning and, and data from every source as opposed to that traditional site core web focused uh, source of, of data. So, you know, from a POC perspective, possibilities are endless, right? Um, I'm going to be getting into a short demo after this that will uh, sort of showcase it in action. But that was just a, a brief overview of, of what was accomplished of, uh, of tying those two systems together. All right, let's um, take a look at the demo, and we're going to first look at things from the Sitecore perspective. All right, so let's get into, first of all, um, the marketer experience, right? So let's open up the experience editor. And we're going to navigate to where we want to add um, that personalization uh, to execute that personalization rule that was created for us. So let's get into an article, and it's this automate dinner. If we scroll down, we're going to see that promo that we added to the page. Now, this was the default uh, version of that. And then the two other versions was um, resulting uh, component version one and resulting component version two. So let's look at what the marketer did to implement that. Pretty simple. Uh, let's go and actually just create a new rule. We'll call this um, CDP test, edit the rule. And there's that custom rule. We're going to show where that was created in a moment from the developer. But you know, click to add, right? Um, so put in the rule value. So that's the um, CDP rule one. So let's say, for example, the CDP marketer created that rule for us as an experiment. On CDP, and then you would give the value. Again, this is going to be agreed upon from the um, from from the marketing teams respectively. So, you know, component version one, component version two, pretty easy. So we take a look at those two examples. Uh, so where that uh, FFPDP test 17 returned a two, and a, of course select the component version of content, and same thing for component version one. You know, select your content, and that's it. You know, right now, all of the decisioning, all the logic is actually being accomplished uh, via the, um, the box ever instance. So let's take a look. Uh, first, let's take a look actually at the rule itself. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, we can see this was just POC, so I'm just passing through uh, an API call. Uh, it's executing that call. It is getting the result back and it will go and do a deserialization um, to check the component version uh, and comparing that with the uh, the value that was passed through uh, by the marketer uh, so straightforward again uh, from the sitecore perspective uh, the standard things still apply uh, going into the uh, you know defining what that rule looks like so those are just standard uh, sitecore implementations and that's buried down here within uh, system settings, rules, uh, 
and there's that box of personalization test, right? Uh, creating the uh, marketer human readable and then passing through the um, uh, full class, uh, fully qualified class uh, name that it was deployed into in my, uh, in my instance. From that perspective, then uh, we can look at what that is reaching out to in box ever. So let's take a look at the experiments. And there's the um, experiment that was created for this particular uh, use case. Uh, again, the build of that was just going to be a 50-50 split. It was returning component version 1 or component version 2. It was as simple as that. But we know the Sitecore CDP uh, decisioning and, and um, experimentation can include much more complex uh, decision engines um, or audience segmentation. So again, that concept of data from all sources where your customers or, or where the individuals are interacting, not just web channel anymore. Um, that could be social, it could be display in, in, um, you know, in store display or whatever it happens to be. And then the, the uh, robust decision engine that, um, you know, is, uh, is, is part of the CDP platform. So that can bring in, uh, you know, multiple sources of data to help get up to that selection of content. And, you know, eventually this would determine a winner, a test winner, and that could be the you know content version of choice from that perspective. So it was, it was you know really simple to execute. Um, and then you know if we take a look at that in action, perfect. This is my content delivery uh, instance to where that content was uh, eventually published after the uh, marketers worked on it. And if I go into that automate dinner. We'll see that that um, is going to select a version of content based on on that 50-50 split. So if we go back into my box server environment and take a look at that operational aspect, uh, we'll see that that was just executed right now, and it was the um, the version one of content that was uh, deemed uh, respective for for that initial um, customer request. So there you have it. Um, very simple to begin to think about integration between the platforms um, and then taking full advantage of the best of breed CDP capabilities and, and decisioning that um, you know accompanies the, uh, the the box ever uh, tool set yeah, thanks and uh, hope you found it useful